but we will be back tomorrow to pick up where we've leave, where we'll leave off tonight. So here he is, Isaiah Mena from Columbia, making his way into the ring now in the red corner. And you're going to hear it in a moment. The Azerbaijani boxer, Magal Merdrasol Medzidov. 25 years old. Jay Cowley, the referee from India. The judges, Yakub, Lorado, Puta, Chittis, Pagi, and Tadik. Let's see how Isaias Mena has gotten here. 2011, the second Pan American Games qualifier in Quito, Ecuador. He plays seventh as well as the third Pan American Games qualifier in Panama City. He plays first. Moving on to Medzidov. He's a World Series of Boxing participant. And he's also the third place bronze medalist at this year's Yumanov Memorial Tournament in Makakala, Russia. So, that said, both boxers 24 to 25 year old range and look at the Azerbaijani crowd really really letting their guy hear it so let's see how this night comes to a close And we are set here. And we are off. Mena in the red corner. Medzidov in the blue. Mena from Colombia. Medzidov from Azerbaijan right here. He's at home. He's got a large home crowd cheering him on. You hear the fans chanting Medzidov. It's only going to be louder as the tournament continues on. Right hand by Mena. Medzidov stalking his man. Big left hand and a right hand. And he shakes, he wobbles Mena. And there's another big right, he wobbles him again. And Medzidov looking to finish this early. He's got his man stunned and the referee is going to issue a caution for cuffing, as they say, throwing a punch with the cuff of his gloves. But Medzidov is looking to end this one. He's got a lot of hometown fan support. And Mena looked like he already was slightly staggered from a big right hand by Medzidov. And another big right hand by Medzidov. And that's going to get a standing eight count from Mena. He caught him right on the chin. And Jake Foley giving the standing eight accordingly. There it is. Calls the boxers forward. Let's see if Medzidov can, can one up. Erislandi uh, Savan in his last bout and stopped this contest early again. Although the Azerbaijani crowd wanted another standing eight, it was Medzidov who got a caution for again hitting with the, the cuff of the glove. And here comes Mana with a right hand. Big right hand by Mena, right down the pipe, straight, which is the way it ought to be thrown. A minute to go here. Medzidov continuing to press the action. And with just 40 seconds to go, Mezidov is still going to try and end this one early. He's got Mana in the corner, but Mana, smarter than that, he's not going to sit there. Although, maybe I spoke too soon because here he is once again finding himself in the corner. Mana, Mezidov doing a decent job of keeping him up against the ropes, and perhaps that's where he wants him. He throws a left to the body, 
And again, Mena seems quite comfortable with his back against the ropes, and Mezudov, why not take it? It's always going to be a tactical advantage. Not always, but often. Unless Mezudov, or Mena rather, has some sort of plan to fight off the ropes, but he's already down on the points. Probably want to impress the judges and look active. Throw more punches, harder to do off the ropes. And there's the score, seven to two after round one. So we're gonna see a replay from the first round. And there's a right hand by Medzidov. And the left that's straight through. And there's the big right hand snap back the neck of Mena. Took the starch right out of his neck. begins. Overhand right by Medzidov. And Medzidov continues to press the action, even though he's got a five-point lead going into this round. He still wants to impress his home fans. He wants to end this one. He wants to stop this guy, get him out of there, show the super heavyweight division that this is his home course. This is him, his home stadium. And he doesn't just want to win on points. He's certainly not going to sail to victory. It would seem that it's less important to get to London for this guy right now, more important to impress his hometown crowd. Well, let's see, as it looks like he may have staggered Mana again. The referee's going to caution Mana to keep his head up. Way almost through round two. And now Mena continuing to stay busy, circling away from the action. Medzidov continuing to stalk his man down. Now Medzidov finds Mena with his back in the corner once again. Big right hand by Mena, pushes his man back. And Medzidov continues to apply the pressure. Mena not doing much by way of counter punching, although as we say that he throws two, two loose right hands. They missed their mark, but they let Medzidov know he's still, he's still rascally. He could still be dangerous at this weight. It only takes one punch, as you saw by Erislandi Lara, to not only change the course of a fight, but to stop it dead in its tracks. A big right hand by Medzidov, right down the pike. And now again, Medzidov has Mena in the corner. And as the waning seconds of round two toll away, we see Medzidov with a, a commanding 11-4 lead going into this final round. So you hear it from the crowd. They're quite pleased with that. And here you see some action from round two. Mena still a little dangerous as he fights with the ropes there, but not that dangerous. At least not yet.
And as we see, Medvedev getting some work done in the corner. It's 11-4, entering the third final round here. It's been a long day of boxing and a good day at that. Again, we said we'll be back tomorrow afternoon to pick up where we've left off or where we will leave off tonight. And as Jake Bolly calls the boxers to the center of the ring. And again, Mana support is still looking for a knockout. They want to see that man stop this guy. They want to see him put an emphasis, an exclamation point on this evening. And there wouldn't be a better way than the final round of the final bout, super heavyweight, and it's their own hometown boxer. Can Magro Madruso Medzadov do it? We will see soon enough. He's got two minutes and 22 seconds. Oh, that magic number. Right hand by Mena. Mena looks less interested in coming back to win this fight and more interested in just staying alive, surviving. Although, to Medzadov's credit, he doesn't look like an easy man to hit. And it looks like <laughs> If you do try and hit him, you're exposing yourself to some damage of your own as Mena has already tasted the power, received a standing eight count in the first round. And let's see if Mena can continue to fly away or if this is somewhat of a fait accompli as Medzadov continues to lay the leather and a big right hand and it looks like he's hurt Mena and now he's gonna get a standing eight, but I think this may be it. Mena looks very hurt. I do not know if he'll be able to continue, if the referee will allow him to continue. I don't think he will. And it is gonna be all over, I believe, and it is. The referee removes the mouthpiece from Mena's mouth, and that is it, folks. It is over. Unbelievable. But Mena is out by an RSC. And Medvedev is going to have his victory by knockout. I don't even know that the referee stopped it as much as it was the case that Mana could not continue. Be that as it may. Now hold on. I hope we're not premature in calling this fight over. The clock is still up, showing a minute 27. I don't know if Mana officially beat the count. Yes, he. No, he didn't, rather, and the bout is over, and the victory goes to Azerbaijan. Mago Medrasul Medzidov is going to get the victory here. A very impressive one at that. A stoppage in the final moments of this round. And Azerbaijan has themselves a 2012 Olympian. So we're going to make this official right here in just a moment as the referee is going to raise the hand of Magda Medrasol Medzadov from Azerbaijan. And that is it, folks. That's going to wrap it up in just a moment. We're going to see the last images of the Azerbaijani crowd. and. Some moments from the final round where Medvedev was able to put the finishing touches on his man. And we'd like to thank you all for showing up here today and joining us. We look forward to seeing you back tomorrow in the quarterfinals. This is Castle Ch Chalice signing off, and have a good evening.